Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Early season, mid-season, late season, it really doesn't matter. The SEC doesn't wait to turn up the intensity. An early season matchup in the Southeastern Conference. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. to the 20. Tackle made at the 33. Auburn's got a new man that's running the ship right now, and I get the sense that the players would run through a wall for him. There's a lot of emotion out there. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. to that quickly. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Got it, and brought down immediately. So they get about four yards from play action. The play action froze the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. So the completion goes for about eight yards and a first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. incomplete. Well, the execution here is very good by the offense. The quarterback did a nice job of reading the defense, put the ball in a position to be able to make the catch. The problem is the wide receiver did not focus and concentrate and hold on to the ball. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That was sort of a funny-looking play. They needed a lot more yards than they got, and yet they settled for a check down and nothing was there. Now down. Can pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's out to the 30. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. It's first and 10. 
Ball on their own 36. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. From their own 33-yard line, third down. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. That's a deep that makes it fourth and four. Russ is the punter. Got the corner. Thomas fields it at the 24. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes at the 43. About six yards on that completion. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He tackles him for a loss. The offense gets a first down here, and you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense to ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. From the 40-yard line, Second down. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Fowler brings him down at the 26-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Close the fight. He's taken down around the 15-yard line. From the 15-yard line, first down. Justice again makes it to the 12-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, this one's scoreless. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. and he's got his man and he tackles him hard at the one that's good for a game of 11 yards we're at play number nine of this current drive
walking backs do a lot of dirty work during the game, so it's good to reward them. Let him barrel it in for a score once in a while. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 49-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 20-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Freeman makes the tackle at the 17-yard line. That'll bring up third and long. Third and long. Ball on the 17-yard line. And he is drilled at the nine. Loss of eight yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Russ is waiting for the snap. Thomas feels it at the 39, and he's taken down at the 23. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Auburn is up seven. Brought down at about the 11. Townsend's on the tackle at the 11-yard line. First down. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Let's go. Green and five. Green and five. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. Pressure coming. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 24-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 14-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Oh, 
It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. The Gators taking their first time out of the half. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. Two minutes to go in the half. Dumps it complete over the middle, and he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. Offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, but now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Russ awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. The Tigers over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership, and that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Mike 12. Mike 12. And they make the stop at the 44. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 30. Wallace on the tackle at the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Third down and they need to get it down to the 20. There's a strike complete. And he's immediately tackled. Slings it. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They come out in a goal line set. Gets to about the 27 yard line. We played a half of football here. Auburn's lead is two touchdowns. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder 
if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to – to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of five on the play. That brings them second and five. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Washington gets the call again. He's tackled at the 34. Two yards. Third down. And he has it on the corner. Makes it out to about the 43. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Pitch out. Got the corner. He fights forward to about the 46. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. to that quickly and they'll get him in the backfield and they lose a couple there they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated him there third down and they need to get it inside the 47. complete he's got room to work tackle made at the 41 I'll tell you something I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on he's really throwing the ball with some purpose from the 41 yard line first down Makes it out to about the 29. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Here's the eighth play of the series. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 25. They're packed in tight on the line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. This is the 10th play of this drive. Pass is 
caught the defense lays him out. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 14. Ready! Come on! Strike to his receiver, no good. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Complete touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 12-play, 73-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Auburn is up by a touchdown. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 31. Quick strike to the receiver. They're about four yards away here on third down. He lets it fly. Terrific effort to pick up the first down. He got total extension and was able to keep his hands between the ball and the turf. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Watch number 12. Watch. Slings it out there incomplete. to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. That's a team on the play. That'll bring up third and two. And here's another third down. Auburn up seven points. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First down. The 10. And down he goes at the 6. That's a game of 11 on the play. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he rifles it in there for the touchdown. Converts the extra point. They're just one quarter away. 21-7, Auburn. The 
And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Smith back deep to return. It's fielded at the two. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The Gators have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. He fires this one, and they couldn't hook up on that one. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. From their own 24-yard line, second down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That brings us third and ten. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. their own 39 yard line it's first down now he tries to buy some time and they got him how about the effort of the defense right there you know for the rest of the game now he's going to be looking for this guy every time he drops back to pass let's see if that throws off his timing Gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up third and 14. So we're looking at another third down here. He goes downtown. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Thomas, the return man. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Brought down around the 42-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 42. Just under three to go in regulation. at the 44-yard line. Florida just took their first time out. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. Up the middle for a nice game. Todd gains about four yards on the play. Florida is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 37. run there. Time picks up five with the carry. The Gators, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And he's tackled right away. Oh, 
27 yard line. First and ten. Man left, man left. First and ten. Ball on the 27. I got number 18. I got you, 18. Here we go. 12. Right, 90. 12. Come on. <laughs> nice run up the middle. This is the eighth play of this drive. We have less than a minute to go. And they make the stop around the eight yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Tigers with the victory. 21-7. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.